Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin charts together going over the next really important support and resistance level. I'll be talking you through the last 12 hours of price action so you can learn from this educationally and then we'll be moving on to what we can look for next over probably the next 24, 48 hours because Bitcoin right now is obviously extremely volatile with that world series of trading competition going on. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into the analysis and let's go. So obviously yesterday I was talking you through the times 100 long position that I had taken and also was reminding you that I had closed at the same day. But obviously we have to up the leverage. I wanted to up the leverage to trade that competition. That was obviously trading this mini range. In the end, that mini range did break to the upside. Where did we reject? <laughs> not too many guesses really where it rejected from. Take your Fibonacci from the high down to the low that was there. And obviously we came up into that CC Fibonacci level. Personally, I did not take a short at this Fibonacci CC resistance, primarily because I was singing and dancing on Twitch with you all. I was having a whale of a time. I was having an absolute ball. It was very, very, very fun, but it did mean I did miss that short trade. Hey, it is what it is. Price obviously moved to the downside. Um, where did we find support? Well, this one was also fairly simple, if we're honest here. After that rejection from the CC, I mean, the most obvious next level of support was that daily. So I was just saying, you know, in my opinion, we are going to at least hit that daily of $46,855. So that's obviously from the CC rejection. We have to envision we're coming down to our next major level of support. Here's the zoomed in view, you know, from the CC rejection, you've got to think we're coming at least to that daily. And obviously we come to that daily, we did. Uh, price obviously came down early in the morning, you know, about 1 a.m. I was up late last night. Uh, anyway, yeah, I was up very late, but we obviously bounced off that daily in the end. And then this is where we got the back test of that level to the absolute dollar. You can see here back testing the daily, this was obviously at 8 a.m. to the dollar there. That's on London Open back testing of the daily and what was your bit of confluence that you had around that daily it was obviously the oops it was obviously your fibonacci cc once again uh coming in on that region of the cc on the daily you wick down through the cc onto the daily exactly and you know you got this bounce underway again where was the resistance that we found here well surprise surprise look what's happening here so we pull our fib from high to low as you know last night we rejected from that CC Fibonacci level. Uh, didn't take that short, but this one I did. To, from the high again, we take our Fibonacci from the high down to the low, and we came straight up into that CC Fibonacci level again. So we can say that this level is just ultimately, it's just amazingly well respected at the moment. For support, for resistance everywhere, you just have to be aware of that level because it's just, it just incredible how... <laughs> how powerful it's become right now. Obviously, we can be aware of our flip CC Fibonacci. That's obviously from the low to the high. That's giving you support intraday of about 47,000. Uh, let's just say 47,185 to give us a little bit of a average. You can see there uh, we got that little bit of our uh, channel here and, and the low of it 47,150. Okay, so that's our intraday, very small term time frame. But obviously, the bit of a larger support level, well, it's exactly the same as it was last night. It's still 46,855. So that is our daily level, which we do have to be aware of. What we do have to remember, though, is it's being touched once for a bounce, it's being touched twice for a bounce. If we touch this again, the more times we test the level, the weaker it gets. Okay, so if we do come down and test it again, maybe for a swing failure pattern type bounce, and then we test it again for a fourth time one has to imagine we're breaking down through and i will cover those levels uh towards the downside uh in a second um obviously the same is for resistance should we come back up and test our next level of the, well the, the last cc level of resistance obviously we would have to be envisioning that we are breaking well we, that we would break through that cc because this is just yeah i would i would personally imagine that we break through it but um you know but th this channel has been really well respected, both on resistance and in support. And obviously last night, if you were in the Twitch live stream, we were watching it when it broke through the middle of that channel, back tested it very well, came up obviously in the end, just rejecting from, let me just emphasize this one more time. I have to emphasize it because of how important it is. Obviously you did reject from that CC in the end, lost the middle of the channel, come back to daily, back test the low of the channel, come back to the daily. We come back up for our, you know, a bit of a pump early in this morning, coming up into the CC, which was around your middle of the channel region. So, you know, for me, this this channel is, is 
you know, definitely worth noting. So should we break through that CC, we can definitely be looking for the top of that channel, which is obviously going to be coming in at around, mm, depending on the time, about 48,600, 48,700. So that little zone that we have there, 40, 46, 48,600, let's say to be a little bit conservative to the upside. Um, so yeah, that's that's our that's our local levels to the upside. Obviously, we do have to be remembering now the levels to the downside. Should this channel break and then we lose our daily level of support, well, the level to the downside is obviously extremely important to be aware of here. And I will cover that now. What I want to do is just a one minute reminder of the World Series of Trading. If you haven't joined our team, obviously you can feel free to join. The competition has only been going on two days, so it's very early days. There is still another. 16 days in the competition so there's plenty of time obviously my account in the group currently is ranked number five in the team about 56 percent account increase in one day of trading so it's not going too bad obviously we're looking to increase that if you haven't joined already of course there absolutely is time to join you can come over i'll leave it down in the comments down below if you want a second chance if you've been liquidated if you've if you haven't joined the team yet now is the time to join you've got a few days left to join on the uh, pre-registration come over to the link that i'll leave in the description click on join and you can sign up with an account and join our world series of trading team so if you haven't already make sure you go and do that and uh yeah i'll leave the links down in the comments below for the world series of trading okay with that reminder set and done we can go back to covering the next level of support to the downside so as i was mentioning should we lose that daily level of support we can zoom out here to the one hour chart let's just remove this channel and remove that cc to clear it up a little bit okay so the next level that i'll be looking down to i'm not going to lie this next level to the downside is, is a little bit more uh it's a little bit harder to define because of the fact there's a there's quite a few several important level, levels of support to the downside obviously as we can remember we bounced off this just the cc is everywhere no we obviously bounced off that cc when we took our fib from high to low here as well back on the 26th of august okay but what we can remember is that actually does give us this harmonic pattern so we go a x to a coming down to b obviously we had the rise for the c and now if we lose this daily level we can be looking down for the d here what do you, you do have to remember that this is obviously a gartley and it can turn into a crab harmonic should this come down you know much lower there's obviously the potential of that 100 percent um so you know i'm definitely 100 percent aware that we can turn into a crap uh but obviously for the time being we can take it level to level so we got our daily should we lose our daily we can look back down and around uh one would say we got the the support here that's coming in at around 45 500 is it a massive level of support not arguably not <laughs> so i would be very 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 cautious i think somebody even asked me this yeah yesterday like when somebody was saying you know would you rather take this you know well E.g., what I would like to take along is a little bit lower. My answer really was, you know, I'd be very cautious taking the longs. I think you want to wait for the reactions, okay? Um, obviously, yes, yesterday I was taking a times 100 leverage long, and I know loads of people in the comments section commented like, hi, you've been wrecked, you've been liquidated. It's like, if you li listen to the content that I'm saying, I literally said in the video, I have closed that long. So <laughs> the downwards move has not affected me. Uh, so you have to remember, listen to what I'm saying. Do not just read the titles because the titles sometimes have absolutely nothing to do with what I'm even saying. So yeah, although I was taking times 100 longs yesterday, I'm still very cautious on the longs. That's what I want to say. I want to emphasize I'm cautiously taking my longs. Um, you know, I'm just waiting for the reaction. There's no need to be the hero that dives in and you know, there's no need to be the hero. We can literally wait for the reaction, wait for a bit of confirmation and then get in. That's how you need to trade when you're trading with the higher leverage. You know, you don't you don't try and knife catch. You really have to wait for that confirmation. It's very, very, very important. So I feel the same here. If we come down towards the low of the D here, but again, about 45, 500, it has to be viewed as a zone. 100% has to be viewed as a zone. So we cannot we cannot say this is an exact dollar. It has to be viewed as a zone because of the amount of volatility that we have on Bitcoin at the, room, at the moment. And also this is a has to be viewed as a box because the target really is from the low of the CC all the way down to like the 886. Um, so you have to be cautiously reminded that this is a definitely viewed as a zone. And it's not even the strongest support in the world and it, and it can turn into a crab. So you've got to trade it level to level. We might not get the bounce here to be fair but it's definitely something to be aware of and that's why you're watching these videos you know to be aware of the levels so um yeah we've obviously got the, the the local cc which i've taught you through we got the daily should we lose the daily we can look down towards the swing failure pattern and obviously that you know bringing us down towards that garley target which 
I don't have massive confidence, even though if I'm totally honest with you on that, that level of support. But nevertheless, I'm going to be aware of it. You can see I've got my alert set. That's how I'm going to trade it. I'll have my alert set. I'll wait. I'll come into the charts. I'll see what the volume is like. I'll see what absorption is like if it's there. And then I'll make an informed trading decision based off of the data that I have at the time. Yeah, so there's no need to make any massive predictions about this. Well, really simply, we may not even get there yet. So let's remind ourselves. Um, you know, that that's the, the potential that we have with the Gartley. Should we lose, you know, this last daily, then this last zone? We look down towards that Gartley. If it loses that level, well, we're obviously going to be looking back down towards about that $43,000 level, let's be honest. And then obviously locally here, the CC resistances are just absolutely in play. Should we break through that CC resistance? We'll, well, I'd personally be looking back up towards that top of the channel region, which I literally showed you a little bit earlier in this video. So, Ooh, there we go. I've tried to I've tried to get this update done in, in, in efficiently and not you know not jumbling around too much. So uh, I'm going to get back to trading this. Uh, so I'm going to upload the video, get back to trading, and uh, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, of course, absolutely smash that like button, smash the like button as hard as you can. What I will say, if this video reaches, let's say, 3,000 likes, uh, which I think we could do, the videos are getting like 12,000 likes, so the, the videos are getting 12,000 views. It should get 3,000 likes. If that happens, I will talk you through the altcoin that I called for accumulation. I'll give you the update. We we were just, you know, although, yeah, Bitcoin's fun to trade at the moment, I'm making you know, a lot of money on altcoins. So if you wanted me to talk you through that accumulation altcoin, smash the like button and I'll talk you through it, give you an update and say exactly how I am trading that one, which has been a pretty epic call if I say so myself. So yeah, I want to get back to trading this as we just reached the CC. So thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you over in the World Series of Trading and have a brilliant day. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheers.